Tonight we are leaving Omaha, so we're at Epley Airfield. Your hair is acting a little crazy. This is just going to be a short video of us returning home, what our Allegiant flight looks like going back. We did get an exit row this time, so kind of comparing the normal seats to the exit row seats. Let's go check it out. We are going to go check our bags, go through security. My bag was 29, yours was 30. So really not much off. Maybe you took half a pound of my stuff and put it in yours. I so. It's currently 6.30 and we're heading towards the Allegiant Gate. We're gonna head up the escalator. We're at gate B19. Oh, hello. Hello, oh, right there, hello. Oh. They do kind of have a little bit of a food court but it all kind of looks closed. And in one of our, they have a blimpy? Oh, wow, they have a blimpy. In one of our videos, we mentioned scooters. When we, when we went to Duncan, we mentioned scooters. And scooters is, there's a lot of scooters in Nebraska. Tonight, it only shows the security five to 10 minutes long, so that's great news. So they have the North Hangar with some, what, drinks, coffee, kind of looks, oh, it's the scooters. And then over here, kind of like on our way here they've got a little what is it a Hudson oh yeah Hudson so they've got some Nebraska stuff magazines snacks ornaments Nebraska definitely need to get a water again we definitely are not spending 50 whatever dollars that we spent last time get us a water share water they do have a true wireless earbuds with charging case Mandalorian the child so our gate is behind us we have about hour and 40 minutes before we board um, also want to talk about why we came to Nebraska we actually came to Nebraska to surprise your dad for his birthday and what was cool was everybody knew besides him so it was really cool. That's why we don't have any videos of our trip. We wanted it to be like a family thing. Um, it, we haven't seen them this past year. So we wanted to spend as much time with them as possible. It was awesome. Yeah, it was good. The only thing that wasn't, the cold weather. And it did snow a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, ugh, it was very cold today, I think is the coldest time, wasn't it? When it was, it, yeah, it felt like 15 or something. Yeah, ugh. But we had a really good time, spent a few days here. Um, hung out with family, got to eat some good food, got to see kind of your old stomping grounds. Yep. Had a good time. Issue is though, we were supposed to land in Clearwater at 11. 11. Today it gave us a notification saying our flight has been delayed two hours. So now we don't fly out until time to... It, Nine. nine. We board at 8.15. No. Board at 8.30, fly out at 9.15. Board at 8.30, fly out at 9.15, and we don't get to Clearwater until 1.07. In the morning. And we work tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, we're going to sleep on the plane because it's like a three-hour three hour flight. And then um, I'll show you, though, we did upgrade to an exit row to have the extra room. So we'll kind of show you what that what the seats are like compared to just the normal seats like we were heading here. I also want to throw in that we are a little behind on answering comments back, but once we kind of get situated, come back, we will start cranking out answering those comments back because we do appreciate everyone commenting on our videos because like we always mention, we always read the comments and love the helpful suggestions and the kind words that people have to say. So. If we haven't answered you in like five or six days, do not worry. We will start answering here once we get back in the rhythm of everything. As well as scooters, they also have a Godfather's over here. And then some snacks up front over there. Breakfast and lunch, lunch boxes, sandwiches, club sandwich, turkey, ham and Swiss, some different things like that. Godfather's pizza sitting there. It looks like maybe you can order some specially Godfather's pizza over there. And over on this back side, they have Pitch, I guess is what it's called, and it's a bar. And then, 
looks like maybe nothing on this other side. This is the little Hudson place we went to to get our water. Looking at one of the menus over here by the bar, and here's some cocktails and their prices. And I don't know, does it show anything else? Welcome to the hangar. Some wines. So it seems like everything starts closing around like maybe eight o'clock. Yeah. And we wanted something for the ride home because we're not gonna be able to get anything when we get home. And they had Godfather's one box of pizza left, which was $9, I believe. So a little pricey. Leaving Omaha with an Omaha classic. Leaving Omaha with an Omaha classic. Who here has tried Godfathers and loves Godfathers? So that's what we're gonna eat before we get on the plane. Here's what the pizza looks like. Personal pizza. Yeah. It smells good. What'd you think? It good. Bring back some memories for you? Yeah. Honestly, it was worth it. Cause like, you know, we spent $57 on cheese. Snacks coming yeah. here. And then nine dollars on a small pizza, so that was just as filling as snacks. Now we won't really. We still have some leftover snacks from when we came, but planning on sleeping on the plane. Whereas when we were arriving, we wanted to snack on the plane. Since we are in an exit row, I think we go get to board early. Good job. We couldn't. You heard that. I just heard emergency, and I remember sometimes they call and let you board early. You yeah. Have to yeah, so we were normally zone five, but we got to board, we get to board early. Getting on the plane. Looks like we're gonna be 14 A and B right here. All right, this is what it looks like so far. It's a pretty full flight, but we are in an exit row. And there's actually, I'm not all the way back, even quite a bit of leg room here compared to the other one, so. A lot of leg room. Just in case you ever want to know if you, you should wipe down some of the trays. Look at that. Ooh. Just looking at this again, and I mean, at least seven to eight inches of leg room, and I'm tall, so for you, <laughs> there's so much leg room. So much. These are good seats. Got a little window view here. It is, um, we boarded about 30 minutes later than scheduled, so there's that. Looks like we're getting lucky again and no one's gonna be next to us. This has been great. All right, we are getting ready to leave.
right, we're heading out of the plane and we're heading outside. 60 degrees, which is much better than what we were just at. Heading in. Heading toward baggage claim. All the way down here. We got a couple motorcycles over here. Also, there's a Frenchie's sign. Love eating at Frenchie's, we have a video on that. Look at the airplane they have in here. They also have this Tarpon Springs little like informational poster advertisement. And we did go to Tarpon Springs and have a video on that. All right, the bags are coming, so should have ours soon. All right, we got our bags heading outside to where we parked. And total to park was $52. What was it, $13 a day-ish, right? Yeah. All right. Even though it's not as cold as it was in Omaha, it's still pretty chilly, 55 degrees, but it is also very late, 125. So that was our trip from Omaha to Clearwater. Um, slept most of the way, it was a lot of room in the exit row. Mm -hmm. We're tired. With that being said, that does it for tonight. Thanks for watching.